God promises all things shall be completely restored from the curse brought on by sin. Top of the morning to you. When we consider who we are in Christ, with the mind of Christ and a firm determination to get to know God personally and more fully, we find in Colossians 1.20, God purposed that through Christ, all things should be completely reconciled or brought back to himself, whether on earth or in heaven, because through Christ the Father made peace by means of the blood of the cross. Genesis 3.17 tells us the ground was cursed because of man's sin. 2 Corinthians 5.17, if anyone is in Christ, the new creation has come. The old is gone. The new is here. Verse 18, all this is from God who reconciled us to himself through Christ and gave us the ministry of reconciliation. Verse 19, that God was reconciling, reconciling the world to himself in Christ, not counting the people's sins against them. And he has committed to us the message of reconciliation. Verse 20, we implore you on Christ's behalf, be reconciled to God. Romans 8, 19, creation eagerly waits for the revealing of the sons of God. Verse 20, for the creation was subjected to God's curse, not willingly, but because of him who, sub, who subjected it in hope. Verse 21, because the creation itself also will be delivered from the bondage of corruption into the glorious liberty of the children of God. Verse 22, for we know that the whole creation groans and labors with birth pangs together until now. Verse 23, not only that, not only that, but we also who have first fruits of the spirit earn, or excuse me, even we ourselves groan within ourselves, eagerly waiting for the adoption and the redemption of our body. Galatians 3.13, Christ redeemed us from the curse of the law, having become a curse for us. Colossians 1.20, through Christ, God reconciled everything to him. He made peace with everything in heaven and on earth by means of, of Christ's blood on the cross. Romans 5.18, Adam's sin brings condemnation for everyone, but Christ's one act of righteousness brings a right relationship with God and new life for all. Bottom line, all things were cursed through man when man sinned in the garden. Well, all things suffered from this corrupted influence. We as believers were redeemed from the curse. As a result, we can put on the new man while on earth awaiting our total restore, restored bodies upon Christ's return. Romans 8.28 we know all things work together for good to those who love God, to those called according to his purpose. Therefore, we can expect the part of creation under our jurisdiction can be restored while it is awaiting its total transformation when we get the new earth promised in Revelation. Words of encouragement. Jesus gave us all authority in heaven and in earth. If we see a part of creation not lining up to its potential, we can bring God's authority to bear upon any situation weather, drought, floods, etc. We can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. Just ask in Jesus' mighty name. Have a great day.